Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a 5 mask Stormwind run and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, Blyle, the Vial of the Black Liquid is going to be poisonous uh, for this one. So, is this one up? No it is not. Um, okay, by the way, before I forget, here's the talents, here is the essences, and uh, let's begin guys. Also, I just tried to record a uh, Stormwind run, a uh, Stormwind run. And uh, my recording didn't go off, so I I finally beat a Stormwind Vision run, and uh, it did not record, and I am extremely sad because I got my reaction in. I didn't thought I I thought I got my reaction, and it turns out I didn't. So yeah. So regardless, though, let's go ahead and see if we can pass this one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my trends here, actually, since I'm taking a little bit of damage. I'm, I'm clearing out this room first because this room uh, gives you a haste buff. So haste is incredibly nice for Boomkin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grab this haste buff real quick for anybody who's wondering. Uh, it's in the trade district, and just as as you're about to head over to Dwarven District over here, uh, that's basically uh, where the uh, place is. And uh, yeah, so. Like I said, depressing news that I managed to actually pass Stormwind and didn't get it on recording. It just sucks. But like I said, I promised you guys I would try and do a Stormwind video because uh, I know you guys really wanted me to. Because obviously everybody knows Stormwind is such a, you know, pain in the butt. Uh, it's my least favorite vision of for sure. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and finish this guy off and we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, I'm actually going to use my first food right here, which because I was a little bit delayed there. My game apparently decided to froze and it took a few insanity off at the start. But yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and use the first food buff right there. And we're going to do a big pool here and see how many uh, ads we can pull. Alright, pull you. Let's go ahead and dot you up, dot you up, dot you up. Got my stuff here. I'll go ahead and grab this. And oh, here we go. Go and pull these, uh, pull the trends right here. As you can see, lots of damage taken right there. You got to be extra careful with what you do. <laughs> and for me though, I am not very bright, and somehow do stupid stuff like that most of the time. But it's all right. It's not a big deal. You get pulled. Um, I pretty much cleared most of that, no problem. Now we just got to clear this ad without taking any insanity. Get our 20 insanity back, and that's pretty much just. How you, uh, clear this room, to be honest. Uh, okay, I want to grab this red red potion for a defense, de defensive buff. Talking is hard, okay? Especially when you're trying to focus on all this stuff. I've got a purple potion over there for Breath of Fire. The only thing I've found with Breath of Fire is it tends to screw me over when I'm stealth, and it just randomly procs, and it gets me out of stealth because I'm trying to sneak past stuff. And it's just, yeah, it just... I usually just ignore it now and go for the healing and defensive at this point. Uh, let's go and pull these ads real quick. Guess we can go ahead and try and pull those ones as well over there. Eh. Yeah, I'll pull these. I'll pull those two next after we kill these two blood elves real quick. There we go. Why are you evading? There's nothing to evade. We'll go ahead and root these guys there. Plant the explosives. Keep on getting those lunar strikes there. I got my free haste block, uh, free proc, whatever you want to call it there. I want to just try to get those bombs real quick, but. Alright. I hate this stupid ad following me at the worst times, man. It's, it's really not that huge of a deal, I'm being 100% honest, but when it procs, like, right next to you, it's really, really bad. Alright, here we go. Any potions around here? No? No potions? Alright, well, just with the shot to look, anyways. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Old Town is my least favorite. I know people say Mage Tower, but I've been really hating Old Town more than the Mage Tower one. And like I said, that's just personal preference. Like I said, some people even think Orgrimmar is harder than Stormwind. So like I said, every person is different. Uh, you just have to find what works for you. But yeah. Uh, I hate Old Town the most. I failed more in Old Town than Mage Tower, so... Alright, oh, oh, not the freaking buff that keeps making me move! No! I have to cast, not move. There we go, perfect, now it's gone. Alright, we're good. Got our 200 insanity back, now we go ahead and move on to the worst one, in my opinion, Old Town. 
I feel like as melee, it's probably easier. Maybe that's why a lot of it's, it's all, I feel like a lot of people play melee. Uh, that's why it's probably easier for them. I could be wrong. I don't know. But as a caster, yeah, I just really dislike um, Old Town. And I got my buff and I didn't really want it to. Uh, quick, let me pull up before the freaking... Alright, well, it's too late. Okay. Uh, let's get out of that real quick. Get some Star Surge action going out there. Here comes the Roaring Blast. Gonna go ahead and dodge that. Here comes another Roaring Blast. Gonna go ahead and dodge that again. And stupid split personality. Uh, another Roaring Blast. Not good. Should probably just pop my... I, I, I'm tempted to pop my Iris and just finish him off that way, but... Kind of want to save it for the next few ads. I didn't kill this. You want to time the the proc with the um, with the mini boss, and that's what's the hardest part. As you just want to, like I said, you want to time that right. How did I ignore these ads and pull the mini? All right. Sometimes you just make a little bit of mistakes and visions. Sometimes they can cost you, but you got to try to make less of mistakes as you can. And hopefully, like I said, with you guys watching this video. Uh, some parts will help you guys, some of it will you'll learn from not what not to do with that I've been doing. And it's just, you gotta be extra careful, man. Got a proc right there, which is not good. That's not a good time for a proc. And why, you guys are probably wondering why? Because you want to try and save that for the boss fight. The mini boss, I should say. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the entrance right there. I'm low on health, there we go. Finish you off right there. Get out of that fear. And perfect. Finish that off real quick. Well, I guess while we wait out some time, we might as well. Because uh... I want, I want to pull the ad with the proc. So I guess I might as well look around and see what the what else we can get around here. That our, uh, that's poison. Screw you. Uh, I guess we can pull this ad real quick, just for the heck of it. Why not? See if there's anything in that room. Got 30 seconds. I said, like I said, you got time to waste, you might as well kill it. Star Surge, Solar Wrath, etc. Finish you off, perfect. I got 18 seconds. I think I'll just go ahead and pull that next ad group, to be honest. Get out of that fear. There's just some mini bosses you really want to save that proc from for. So that's why the reason why I am kind of not going ahead forward right now. The Mage Tower one is definitely the worst. Alright, I think I might just pull this ad after this. I need to get these guys all low. Okay, well. Here we go. Go and pull my trance here. Like I said, not necessarily the best pull right there. Ooh, boy, that's a lot of damage taken. Ooh, boy. Go ahead and keep guiding him up as best as we can here. I'm actually going to go ahead and pop my Iris here. Keep on line sighting that a little bit. It's whenever you get that proc, you just got to take a chance and pull the boss. That was not a really good pull, so just as a heads up. You got to be very careful with, like I said, how you pull things. Not my brightest pull. And, uh, yeah. Definitely not the brightest pull for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Stupid split person. And there we go. I'm about to get feared. No, I'm not. We're good. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and eat my food buffer real quick. Gonna need it for Shaw. Shaw is such a freaking pain in the butt, though, no, man. I still don't... Like, I kind of get the Shaw fight, but the Shaw fight is a little bit still confusing for me. I think I still get it. Like, you have to not face the eyes, I believe. But, yeah, that fight has always caused me so many issues. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pull this next pack real quick. I'm not sure which I hate more, split personality or the slow. I think I hate the um, split personality more, to be honest, though. Get out of that, just in case I get feared. Got a proc right there. We're going to just quickly finish this guy off. I actually should have interrupted that. Go and pop my swift men right there. 
sometimes my eyesight necessarily isn't the best so I might miss a few things so just so you guys know if I mess things up that's probably why because everything is just going on so much at once uh, okay it's probably gonna go ahead and uh, go invisible there don't want to focus the eye and then get caught by that uh, let's go ahead and do this here we go. He's gonna go invisibility here. Don't wanna focus the eyes, don't wanna get out of that. Wanna try and get away over here real quick. Don't wanna see that. Be so careful with this freaking eyes, dude. So annoying. I'm getting low on insanity, so I'm gonna have to probably use an orb after this. Make sure we get him out of that real quick. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and iris beam. I'm so tired of this guy. I'm over it. Not necessarily like the best move, maybe. I don't really know, but I don't care. <laughs> Need to get it out of there, man. Split personality is so annoying, too. Uh, let's go ahead and ignore these ads. Just kidding, I suck. Okay, we're going to pull these guys. Whatever, so be it. Continue keeping them dotted up. My food buff is almost up as well. Another proc you want to save, uh, I mean, for definitely for the um, for a boss, is this next trade district. You definitely want to keep one uh, a proc for that fight. And the reason why that is, is because the boss does insanity, and it's, it's just, it's terrifying, yeah. Very terrifying. Uh, let's get some star searches on this burrowing appendage. I really hate burrowing appendages. They're annoying. Finish you off real quick. I don't have my cooldowns up though, is another problem. Uh, so I don't know how I want to exactly play this out. Because I definitely am going to need cooldowns uh, for the fight. Here we go. Finish you off real quick. Perfect. I'm actually going to go ahead and use another food buff here. I don't think I need to use an orb. Yeah, I don't need to use an orb, I don't think. Please don't get closer. Please, please, just two more seconds. Two more seconds. Please. All right, we're good. We're good. We got we got 170 from that. Um, How do I want to do this? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for uh, my celestial alignment, and then I'm going to go ham over there just because, or at least when it's almost up, because, like I said, I need, you need cooldowns for the boss fight. I want to see if there's any potions around here, actually, since we're waiting. Black liquid is poison. Cool. Thank you for trying to kill me, game. No, I don't think there's anything uh, worthwhile over here. Oh, uh, got a horrific figment. And there's the proc. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and pull the boss. Here we go. Going to do that. Popping trends and everything. Go ahead and pop Iris here. I got two more seconds. I'll have to interrupt the next one for sure. Interrupting that. Sorry, Surge. No bad timing. Stupid thing. There we, there we go. Perfect. We're good. You just gotta play it smart. That's really all there is. This that's all the strategy there is to this uh to the, how this um, how visions work. Just gotta be careful how you pull stuff. Be smart, and that's pretty much it. Finish off the citizen. We got a red and a blue vial. Defensive and healing. I'll definitely take defenses and healings, especially when we're gonna need it for the mage tower. At least I still have uh, three orbs though. Three orbs is still good. Finish him off right there. Nope, just kidding. Finish off that one. And these things are so annoying as a caster, man. At least as melee, because I like to stun them for my rogue. Alright, cool. Thank you for making me run literally into a wall. That's so great. Alright, we got it. I got it. I got it. Go and grab this. Then we're going to pull this ad next. Ooh, I actually got a proc from that. That's great. That is great. 
Give me those nice haste buff. Alright. You have to wait till that stupid chain to serve you too. <laughs> Alright, come on. There we go, perfect. Get that star surge going out there. One more. Oh, dude, I, I was I thought I was gonna get that last star surge off. Nope. Over there isn't helping collect the orb. Probably means it's bugged, man. Oh, I'm not gonna sure, I'm not gonna grab that one. Uh I would I would whisper you, man, but I'm in the middle of this right now. Uh, Solar Wrath, Star Surge, another Strike, Solar Wrath. Sometimes Visions can bug though, I guess. I don't know, I've never personally don't think I've had that bug. She does take sometimes a little bit longer. I've had an attempt where she just stands there and then eventually she'll do it. She takes so much time. Oh, the stupid speed, why are you walking randomly? There we go, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna use another, um food buff here actually because we're about we got another cooldown thing up so I want to go and use it uh, okay got another buff right there any potions around I see another potion right purple there's so many breath of fire I don't trust breath of fire breath of fire has screwed me on another two and I'm just so, so wary of it man it's good, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like it screws me more than it actually helps me. Maybe it's good on, like, better on certain tunes, but stealth classes, I just don't really find it as good. Uh, but for anybody wondering, because I know some people corrected me in the last one, I know there's more buffs besides the one in Trade District. Um, I know there's one in, I mean, uh, like in the main district, uh, uh, the one where you start at. I know there's two buffs there, uh, and I know there's one in um, Trade District over here. Um... I don't remember the other one. It's like a fire elemental buff, but if anybody wants to um, correct me in some of the other ones, um, like because I don't remember where all the spots for the other one. I know there's a fire elemental, but uh, that's all I can remember. I know there's another one, but like I said, I don't remember all of them. I'm not as knowledgeable as I am with Orgrimmar for Stormwind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this next set of ads. You definitely want to save... Um, your proc for the main boss in the mage tower in the next room that boss is the worst boss ever like i <laughs> oh man anybody that's done stormwind knows what i'm talking about it's just so bad uh let's finish you off real quick never mind uh okay where is he he's right freaking there he's right there all right, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. I'm in such a bad room. Okay, cool. Okay. I need to go and pull that uh, ad next. I do have my cooldown, so I'm gonna pull the. Um, I'm gonna kill that at those ads real quick, and then I'm gonna pull the uh, main guy, that guy over there. We'll kill this void thing first, though. I'm definitely going to have to use an orb, I think, soon, though. Getting way low on insanity. Interrupt that. A proc would be nice right about now. There we go. Alright, guys, here we go. Popping the cooldowns. Killing big guy. Just kidding. We got 12 seconds, though. We're good. One pool of the fo uh, pop, pop the focusing iris here. Die, you freaking scumbag of a freaking. Hey, ooh, okay, there we go. Ooh, oh boy, I hate those ads. I definitely. I think I'm gonna pop an orb after this. Uh, I'm gonna go and get out of that. Need to keep myself alive. Not my smartest pool. Idiot. Okay, well, I died, technically. If you can call that a death, but that's okay. At least I got my insanity back, I guess, so... Uh... Ooh, oh, boy. And that, my friends, is what we say is a costly mistake. And it turns out my debuff ran out. 
So I just got hit with a stun there. So just as a tip there guys, do not do what I just did because that almost just cost me the uh, the run there. So just as a heads up, don't do what I just did. That's uh, that's a mistake. And again, not my brightest moves there. So dang it, I tried to go for a stun there, but that's okay. Go ahead and finish off this orb guy real quick. I'm gonna pull him out here. Fish him off. The H tower is just so incredibly hard. All right, the last and final guy is uh, up here, so we're gonna go ahead and pull him, and then uh, head over to the main boss. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food buff first, since I freaking lost every <laughs> everything in sanity in that one area. Uh, okay, here we go. Gosh darn it, it always spawns at the wrong freaking time, man. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my uh, iris here. Get out of that sandy real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of that. See if we can go ahead and finish this guy off real quick. Get some star surges out. Try and dodge that. Got my proc at the good time. Timed that perfectly. Now we can go ahead and finish this guy off without having to even worry about rain of fire. There we go. And we're good. Just like I said, as a tip, guys, um, I know I'm not being the smartest with my pools. Um, but uh, this is just as a tip to you guys, uh, just to be more mindful of the pools. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I always pull these kind of stunts and stuff uh, for PvP-wise. And I just carry it over <laughs> do dumb stuff in PvE. And I am so sick and tired of it it's popping at the right spot. So, But yeah, so I'm going to definitely use an orb here. I got two left now, so I'm not really worried. Uh, this boss should be easy. And... Uh, yeah, so, I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy, and uh, uh, nuke him down, and uh, head over to the final fight. Alright, here we go. Go ahead and definitely interrupt that for sure. You're probably wondering why I'm not using my trents, and this is the reason why I will not be using my trents. Uh, allow me to show you guys. Pop them now, and guess what? It completely ignores his phase. It's amazing, man. And you guys are probably also wondering why I am running Wild Charge. I'll about to show you that shortly as well. As soon as I get unfeared. We can disengage back over here. And see, it worked out perfectly. Unfortunately, I got stunned for doing that. But, you know, it's whatever. At least it worked out, man. See, like I said, this fight wasn't necessarily too hard. Unfortunately, I don't. Boonkins have no interrupts, so. Uh, yeah. But that's pretty much how you play uh, around the boss fight as Boomkin, for anybody curious. And, uh, yeah, so. Alright, moving on. And we got the final boss fight. I'm looking forward to this one. Not, not really. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can uh, win this, though. I'm just so upset that I did not get this uh, captured the first time. I know I'm not really doing necessarily like the best pools in the world, but uh, it's a little bit sloppy this run. But five mass vision storm one is like I said, no joke. Uh, finish you off here, and uh, perfect. I really need to work on my eyesight a little bit better. It's just so hard to keep up track with everything, and I get hit by stuff when I shouldn't even be hit, getting hit by anything. Uh, okay. My, unfortunately, I did use my cooldowns on the mage boss, so I don't have any, um... I don't have cooldowns for this fight. Um... But I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to wait, uh, at least to probably maybe like 30 seconds, uh, and, uh, probably pull a boss fight then, or maybe 20 seconds. Uh, just in case you guys didn't see what build I am running, uh, this is what I'm running. Wild Charge helped out for the Mage Tower boss fight you saw. Force of Nature always helps and it helped out with the Mage Tower fight to cheese a little bit of the boss. Uh, and the rest of the stuff is just what I feel comfortable with. 
Uh, essences, focusing iris is, in my opinion, the best for this visions. Purification protocol is really good for visions. Uh, the other two I just use because it helps me, in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and pull the boss. Uh, first, of course, we're going to use an orb. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and pop my pre drones here. Go ahead and pop my cooldowns. And we're going to try and nuke her. Get to dodge that. I know you can kick the bombs, by the way. And apparently a lot of people didn't know that. So if you didn't know that, you can kick those bombs, by the way. Go ahead and dodge that. Ooh, got hit by that, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and try and avoid the void eruption. The sad part is, I think I actually had a harder time with the freaking uh, ads than the actual bosses this run. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop a focusing iris. Screw it. This stupid eyeball, dude. Uh, keep dots on her real quick while I run away. I have my um, trends almost back up. Uh, let's go and do that. Void Witch in the way. Darkened Sky here. I'm going to go on pre pop Trents. Dodge the eye. And of course, the eye still hits me because I'm. These <laughs> Trents aren't. <laughs> Dang it, Trents! You betray me. Sometimes. Uh. Ooh, that's not necessarily the best area. Keep on moving to dodge the thingies. Oh, it's actually perfect. Just kidding. That was not a really good time to uh, finish her off here. Dodge that darkened sky. She should be dead here though, after this next one. And that, my friends, is ma a five mass storm win. I actually did it. Um, like I said, in my opinion, this is the hardest one. Um, I know I made a lot of mistakes. There's plenty of other people that obviously can do this way better than me. But you guys, I uh, wanted uh, to do this for you guys because you guys wanted me to do Stormwind. And I know it helped out a lot of you guys in uh, org. Uh, I saw in the comments. And, um, yeah. So, just as a reminder, um, at Stormwind, just in case, you can find out where the potions are. Um, at, at the start, there's a, like a note and there's a potion next to it. And whatever that potion is, is the poison one, just as a heads up. Because a lot of people didn't know that. And uh, now you know. Uh, for anybody wondering where the buffs are, you can see the bear, the Boodle bear picture at the um, middle of the map where you start. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't see that, it says bear spirit. It'll give you a 10% haste buff. So for anybody wondering, you can get that. Um, and then there's a few other stuff. If you want the add-on, there's handy notes for visions. You can do that. Also, there's weak auras, so you can use that for anybody that's wondering. Um, also, there's a buff right here in the potion, um, in this room over here. Uh, it'll give you a 7% versatility buff. That's if he's up. If he's not up, then it'll be the bearer and vice versa. Um, if you want to know where the color of potion is, like I said, there it is. And, um, yeah, basically this is Stormwind 5 Mask. Uh, I'm sure you guys are curious on what I got. Like I said, I didn't record the other 5 Mask, but here's basically the other version of what I got. I got a second bell. Yay, I guess. So, um, yeah. Um, interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on um, the 5 Mask Stormwind run. And, uh, Guess that's it for the video. I'll see you guys later.